What's up, Old Bridge? I'm Connor. And I'm Sandra, and welcome back to the Nightly Wrap Up. The winter sports are all wrapped up now, and spring sports are starting. They actually start today, don't they? Yes, they do. Spring practices get started today, and I know all the athletes and coaches are excited to get started. Several of our spring teams had very successful seasons last year, highlighted by our GMC Championship baseball team. They, had, they and the other spring teams are looking to build upon that success. It all starts with hard work. As a matter of fact, do you know the only place that success comes before work? No. Where? The dictionary. Anyway, February was Black History Month and the African American Club here at the high school was very busy. We had an opportunity to speak with Milan Dean and Dante Anderson about what they did in February. Black History Month is basically to celebrate um, the African American culture and to learn about different African American people who have done great things for us in the past. For example, um, everybody knows Martin Luther King did, um, did great things and he ended segregation between blacks and whites and also Cornel West who's a professor in Harvard and Oprah who opened up a school in South Africa for um, kids that can't afford to pay for school. And it's to basically like remember those people and remember the great things that they did for us. An African American community. As a club, we, we did each morning we had announcements where we featured prominent African American figures in entertainment as well as education. Uh, the Soul Food event was just a chance to bring everybody together and let them enjoy some good food. We had upwards of 100 people at the event and I felt that it was really successful. And we had the school zone Cloud Nine there and they played a lot, of, a lot of good music, some from the Harlem Renaissance, and it really turned out to be a great event. My mouth is watering just thinking back to food at the Soul Food Festival. Speaking of mouth watering, I can't wait for a noodle night which will include pasta, salad, and live music. It's $5 and all proceeds go to the struggling family in Oldbridge. The Electric Coffee House was also that day. People were saying that the music was so loud you could hear it from 516. Oh yeah, it was a great night with a lot of fantastic music. Check out this footage. I think some future rock stars were born that night. Did you see Connor's hair? That was great. MTV, watch out. Here comes Old Bridge. Make sure to rest up for next week and do your best on the HESPAs. And seniors, have fun during your senior week. You all know what else is coming. What? Yeah, yeah. I better be Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown's missing! Has anybody seen Mr. Beth? Do you know whose birthday today is? Not mine. Today is Read Across America Day and we celebrate Dr. Seuss's birthday. Dear Dr. Seuss, if we didn't have birthdays, you wouldn't be you. If you'd never been born well then, what would you do? Happy birthday, Dr. Seuss. A group of football players went with Mr. Lonza Fama to Carpenter School to read to the students. Here's some of the footage from that day.
that about does it. I'm Connor. And I'm Sandra. And remember, it's, it's always, always nighttime, nighttime in Overbridge. In Overbridge.